All right, here we go. Game number one. Players warming up for the Arabia Invitational. Viper and MBL will be playing together. They are Team 90-10. Leary and Hart will be playing together as well. Somebody's got to let me know what the joke is on the 90-10 split. Maybe that means that the Viper's going to take 90% of the money if they win. I just don't know. But Leary and Hart here have been playing together maybe more than any other team uh, that is getting ready for this tournament. These guys are both 2K rated players. Hart is most known for playing Black Forest, but it's been practicing a ton on Arabia. Uh, so keep an eye on Leary and Hart to uh, outperform their seed. I think they're like, uh, I'd have to, I'd be guessing, but they're not in the top couple of seeds in this tournament. Uh, look for these guys to play a little bit better than their seeding. Nonetheless, Aztecs and Spanish in this game, 2v2. Uh, Leary will be Aztecs, the Viper will be Aztecs. We'll be looking for those guys to try to get to Imperial and spam out Eagles, but probably build some crossbows before then. Hart and MBL will be Spanish. Maybe we'll see Knights from those guys. Maybe Conks will have to look at the maps. Okay, what's Leary got to work with here? Leary in yellow is going to have his main gold uh, to the side of his teammate, his other gold piles are also to that side. Really tricky area for him to defend here. Main stone on the back is decent, but uh, this is really tricky for him. Uh, once his opponent, which will be the Viper also playing as Aztecs, once the Viper identifies this, it's going to be a little bit hard to protect all these resources. However, a little bit of walling maybe here. He can probably block it in and hopefully for his sake stabilize the ship and give us one heck of a game. Okay, we'll keep an eye on the villagers on wood. Probably going to see a dress from the Aztecs players, of course. Viper right now is forward with his scout, or with his eagle, and he is stealing a boar as we speak. MBL is also forward. He'll be looking for a boar. I don't think he'll find one, though. So keep that in mind. The Viper does steal a boar here early. That's really going to slow down the food economy of Leary, and it really should increase Viper's ability to go up a little bit faster. Not going to have to build very many farms with three boars on his side of the map. Great. So a good early start for the Viper. If we look at his map, he's got back gold. He's got stone on the front. A little bit hard of a, of a difficult of an area for him to close in on the front. It's a very big opening. He's not going to be able to wall himself in very easily. But he can create a nice little pocket here with safe gold. Maybe build a makeshift wall toward the TC or something. Uh, I think he'll be all right to uh, basically survive the early game. He's already going to drop a house here. Maybe we're thinking about a, a wall of houses along this side. Anyway, keep an eye on the Viper there with that extra boar. Should be really in good shape to uh, to um, beat his opponent on that side. Leary's going to have an uphill battle. It might be in Hart's hand to uh, keep MBL honest on the other side. Okay, Hart will be playing as Spanish. He'll have back stone. It's uh, one panel away from being blocked in. Once he does block it in, he should be happy as a clam. Four vills on wood for him. Maybe some early aggression from him. Both gold piles are off to the side. Uh, he's got a bit of work to do to close in the front flank and the side flank of his base. But all in all, this is a decent uh, backstone base for Hart. Maybe we'll see this Spanish player go with Conks uh, somewhat early in the game. Uh, I would kind of doubt it, but we'll see. I don't know why I doubt it. I just don't feel, just don't feel like that's what he's going to do. Who cares what I feel? Anyway, is the chat working on the screen? Yeah, it's a little bit off-center, but it seems to be doing okay. Hey, Kugel, how you doing? Viper beats Leary, Hart beats MBL. Fun game. Eat at. Eat date, skate. Good to see you. Okay, four on wood for MBL. MBL starting to uh, block in his side with Palisades. He's going to have back gold. Can uh, build his Palisades out here or even out here. Uh, and then when his opponent pushes on them, he can build another set of walls and another set of walls and probably keep this gold safe. That's a pretty good gold location for MBL, I think. Uh, he'll be palisading up the front. He's got a pretty defensible position. Doesn't have a whole lot of safe stone. You could call this somewhat safe by the fact that it's not uh, out in front, but it's not that safe. I don't think we're going to see anybody go with Conks here early on. Anyway, 2v2 Arabia, Viper and MBL versus Leary and Hart. These guys are warming up for the Arabia Invitational. This is the first game of a set of four, uh, and as you can see on the scoreboard, 0-0 zero to zero as we speak. MBL is going to wall out his boar here if he's not careful. Uh, MBL has been very aggressive going forward with the scout as of late, and in this game, it's uh, it's not going to hurt him any. He didn't get to steal a boar. He often does have the opportunity to steal a boar. Uh, in this game, I think he just went forward and found out a lot about Hart early on. Got to figure out where Hart's resources are, and that's going to help him make decisions in the long run. But yeah, tons of scout aggression from MBL. Viper's walls are coming toward the TC. It's going to be a huge line of palisades there. He's going to drop a barracks and probably build that uh, Aztec drush that we're used to seeing. 
As we said, if you guys just joined us, Viper stealing a boar here early from Leary in game number one. Going to put Leary at a pretty major disadvantage, but uh, we'll see what Leary can do. Leary's also got a pretty tough to defend map, so we got to keep an eye on how he uh, basically holds his side. Leary doesn't look like he's dressing, uh, but let's let's wait and see. Okay, look around the map here real quick. Uh, looks like for the moment, Viper's Barracks is coming up. Oops, he stopped on 99%. He'll drop it down and start building out militia on 21 vils, question mark? No, no, never assume, never assume. Right now, it looks like the Viper is not going to be building, he's not going to be building militia for the time being. Okay, yellow player doesn't even have a barracks yet, so Leary probably not thinking about going with the Drush early, having to build a lot of farms, uh, having lost his boar pretty early on in this game. So the Vipers had an opportunity to wall himself up. He's had a not very much opportunity to scout. He ran forward and stole a boar, but he doesn't know anything about his opponent's map. MBL is walling himself in. He's going to have a bit of a drush coming forward. Looks like two militia for the time being, maybe a third on the way. MBL will be totally walled in behind that drush. So he's going to use that maybe as a little distraction. And he did build those palisades out away from the main gold. So he can afford to uh, lose this main wall and then build another set of walls here and another set of walls here. And he can keep this gold safe for a very long time. So MBL might be thinking about a fast castle. One would think, at least with this map, that he would go for it. One would think that he will go for it here. Okay, uh, the militia are rolling out for the Viper. He will have five militia out, still in the Dark Age for the time being. 26 vils right now for the Viper. Doesn't know a lot about Leary, uh, but will be sending forward a, you know, a pretty normal Aztec Drush. Leary on the other side of the map knows a little bit about what the Viper is doing. He's starting to wall himself in as best he can. He's going to use Palisades to protect this gold. Two vils on gold uh, for the time being. He has walled in most of the back door. He had, has not dropped a barracks. So Leary right now is on 27 vils. He's about to click up to um, basically execute a pretty fast castle. Uh, does not look like he's going to drop a barracks. Doesn't look like he's going to invest in a in aggression early in this game. Uh, Leary's got to uh, wall in the bottom part as well. He doesn't know about it just yet. It's got to be pretty careful. He's going to X his opponent's berries, maybe talking to his teammate Hart and telling Hart where to go. Hart's going to be in the Feudal Age. He will drop a stable right away and start building out some scouts. So scouts for the green player Hart. He's not going to be able to get anything done against MBL. I wonder if he already knows it. Hart right now, yeah, he, he's probably got a pretty good idea that MBL is walling himself in. Hence, uh, probably why he was asking his teammate Leary to uh, X his opponent. Leary will eventually work his way over and wall in the back door as well. So the Viper with five militia roaming around, they're not going to get much done against Leary uh, for the time being. Okay, Hart's built a little bit of an extended wall out here to try to keep these resources safe. For the time being, he's going to use offensive pressure with scouts. Uh, to uh, keep the pressure on his opponent, MBL. MBL is pretty much walled in right now, so it is basically safe for Hart to do whatever he wants to do, as long as he doesn't uh, fall too far behind getting up to the Castle Age. Stubstitch, hello, man. Ask who won the giveaway. Uh, Will Work for Ice Cream was the first winner. Sinkin, who is the luckiest man alive, won second. I think he won second in the last giveaway, too. Um, Sinkin won second, and third place was Crash Chan. Those are the winners of the giveaway. Not a bad set of winners. It feels like, um, you know, it feels like Sinkin is uh, inordinately lucky. But you know what? Sinkin's one of the donors who uh, made the uh, giveaway happen. So, yeah, it feels like it's uh, fair enough to see him win second place. Congrats to Sinkin. Uh, yeah, Crash Chan will be getting third. He'll get whatever game is left over. Okay, Blue Drush from MBL still roaming around, still on its feet. Uh, it is not really being respected by Hart. Hart's going to come forward with four scouts for the time being. He's not going to go to the Viper as he's, his, his teammate told him basically to head here. He's going to try to run to MBL and see what's going on there, but he's going to find a totally walled-in MBL. MBL's got a very nice tight base, very safe gold, walled in, seems to be happy as a clam, going to drop his market as we speak. He will be going up probably first, maybe, maybe first. Why, why assume? I mean, on the other side of the map, we see uh, Leary, who did go very quickly to the Feudal Age. Looked like he might fast castle. Uh, he totally walled out the Viper's Drush, but now he's dropping double archery ranges. So uh, it looks like he will be able to build out a Feudal Army if he wants to.
No, Leary does click the castle. Good, good, good. I'm not totally crazy. He is going pretty quickly up. Viper will be up here in just a few moments. Three shakes of a lamb's tail. MBL will be up relatively soon as well. Uh, Hart is going to be the slowest person to go up. He built four scouts. He was the first one to feudal. He's got to get something done with them or else his team is really going to fall behind. Lazy Monk, do you know who won between Fire versus Doubt and Viper versus Riot? Uh, I know that um, the best of 11 was going really, really well for Fire. I don't think it's over. I think there are still more games to be played at a uh, at a different day. I could be wrong about that. As far as uh, Riot versus uh, the Viper, I don't know. Hey there, Papa Bear. What's up? What's up, Dave? The vicious marauder. The most vicious of marauders is here. So yeah, Viper's 5 Militia, Drush as Aztecs, is basically relegated to defense, but he's doing a just fine job to wall toward his TC. Pretty crappy area for him, but he did make the most out of it. He will have a safe gold pile. Uh, this wood line is weak to archers, but there aren't archers on the map yet for his opponent. He's going to have the first archers out, probably. Uh, Hearts scouts are trying to find somewhere to be valuable uh, but there's really not much here for them to really do leary's uh, eagle warrior also in play but mbl's totally walled in so mbl's totally fine he's not going to be bothered by these scouts and the viper here uh, is defending himself perfectly fine so a little bit of a wasted uh, bit of energy from heart right now he's going to be drushed by a couple militia from mbl scout goes down right away Okay, four vills on stone for heart, so we are probably thinking about a castle here in defense to shore up this gold, these gold piles, uh, and maybe some conks to go along with it. Villagers still grabbing deer on the front. That is not a tower rush. Don't get too excited. Yellow player coming forward. Leary here is going to have six archers on the field. He'll go toward his nearest opponent. Double ranges still pumping out archers. Gold is relatively safe as we speak. Only four villagers on it. Uh, more focused on building up a second TC uh, for the time being. Leary will go crossbow, but uh, he's not going to have a huge gold economy for a few minutes. Five vills now on gold for Hart. He's on 400 gold. Uh, he has still not clicked up. Is that true? Yeah, Hart still hasn't clicked up. He's going to click up here in just a second. Uh, he'll have plenty of stone by the time he hits the castle age to uh, drop a castle in defense. MBL has basically been, he went with a Drush Fast Castle. He's been totally unbothered the entire game. MBL does a great job to find the best way to wall his map. You can see here he's just totally, totally safe. There's really nothing that uh, his opponents can do against him just yet. Okay, let's see. As far as the chat goes, I can see that it's a little bit too high. So we'll move that around. But uh, yeah. Seems like it's going okay. Seems like it's going okay. Yeah, fire is 6-1 to one right now in that best of 11. Really beating the pants off a doubt. Ooh, that's not something I wanted to visualize. Oops. Okay, Viper defending a little bit 2v1 here. The remnants of Hart's feudal army here is putting in some damage. Viper's crossbows will clean up those scouts. Militia, for the time being, will be chasing Leary. Just uh, basically a distraction tactic from the Viper to buy some time to maybe build up a couple more crossbows to defend himself. Clinging to this hill should be just fine. Uh, we could see the yellow player push through these palisades with a little bit bigger of an army later on, but right now it's probably going to be pretty much a stalemate on that side. Okay, so Castle Age comes last for Hart. That's a big disadvantage for his team. MBL is already there. MBL is starting to pump out knights two by two for the time being. Uh, he is still not on stone. His stone is not very safe, and uh, I think the smart move here is to go double stable knights. And MBL is doing just that, so maybe he agrees. Um, but right now, no upgrades on those knights. Roman forward looking to maybe head toward the yellow player. I'm not quite sure where this army is going to go right now. Uh, just Palisades defending Heart and huge stretches of Palisades. So this is a very weak base. Uh, MBL still got a couple Militia in there, kind of waiting around for, uh, I don't know, waiting for a moment to do something annoying. On a scale of one to calling the cops, how creepy would you look with just a mustache? Ooh. <laughs> From November. I one time uh, did leave a mustache on this face, and people treated me differently. I don't have a good Freddie Mercury sort of look. Is it Freddie Mercury I'm thinking of? Maybe not. I don't have a good, like, cool mustache look. I have the creepy one. Anyway, uh, right now, roaming forward is the Viper with a couple of his crossbows. MBL right now is taking on that army from uh, Leary, but uh, no upgrades on his knights. He's going to lose a lot of knights there. Uh, 
taken down those crossbows, but in the meantime, the Viper will idle this entire wood line from Leary. Leary isn't actually ready for this. He hasn't established a lumber camp on either of his other two wood lines for the time being. So he was kind of asking for trouble here, uh, and now he's going to have to uh, basically lose a lot of gather time. He's still garrisoning this TC, which is unnecessary. He needs to get those villagers back to work. He needs to build a lumber camp on the other side of the map. Looks like he's going to go back to the previous lumber line that he was at. He doesn't actually have very much lumber in the bank. So uh, for the time being, he's going to have to continue to take wood on that, uh, you know, kind of sloppy, scary wood line. Viper's trying to push his way through. MBL will send one knight for the time being. Viper pushing the yellow player Leary across the map. All the while, Hart is basically building up Cox. Hart has been left alone for some time. Viper and MBL both focusing right now on Leary. Leary is um, is doing pretty well considering he had his boar stolen early on. He uh, did not build the five militia drush. He's got three TCs up right now. He's on 49 vils. Falling a little bit behind the Viper's village account. Viper on three TCs as well. Booming his way up to uh, hopefully eventually transition away from crossbows uh, toward eagles one would think. But right now it is crossbows v crossbows for both Aztecs players. No big surprise there. Uh, MBL went with the Knights. We'll have to keep an eye on those Knights as we move forward. Uh, his opponent went with Cox. Cox are going to be a lot slower here for Hart, but uh, the castle really does help him uh, protect these gold piles. So although I don't love Cox at this point because uh, they're so damn slow to get started, the castle was necessary anyway, so it makes sense. I look like I'm trying to steal your kids. Totally a beard sember kind of guy. Indeed. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know why the mustache is so, it's so, uh, scary looking. Cox getting countered by monks as we speak. Brief moment of lag there, kind of weird, but, uh, right now those conks will be chased away. MBL will stabilize the side with a couple of knights and a couple of monks. Just six units on the field for MBL. Took a lot of damage, uh, from the crossbows of Leary. Leary right now is on 16 military, the Viper's on 19. So considering that Leary was 2v1, He's doing just fine here. He's got the highest villager number. He's got a pretty good-sized military of crossbows, adding in a monastery in defense. He's doing absolutely fine and dandy on his side. His teammate Hart is starting to build up some conks. I think it's really anybody's game to win at this point. Uh, Lidri and Hart have a couple 150-point eh, advantage right now. Uh, TC right now coming down for Hart on 53 vils. MBL is on 52. MBL just has put in a second TC, so his uh, his... Villager count will slowly tick up. He's starting to build out quite a few monks and knights. Conquistador is roaming around the map for the time being. Looks like uh, Leary might be asking for a little bit of help versus the Viper. Viper's crossbows are plus two with no defense upgrades. Uh, Leary's crossbows are the same. Siege Workshop coming on the frontier for Leary. Can build up a mangonel and push back these crossbows pretty easily, one would think. But right now, uh, it is just a game of posturing. These guys are kind of locked in a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> you flatter me, Hardy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I'll get the chat a little bit lower so that it actually uh, falls on the um, on the part of the screen that you can see. We'll get that fixed. But yeah, we have chat on screen now. Looks like uh, Conquistadors will be roaming in against uh, quite a few crossbows from the Viper. They're going to do a pretty good job to clean up the bulk of this army. Those cocks are taking a bit of damage, but obviously they are a beefy unit uh, compared to crossbows. So for the time being, they're going to do a good job to dwindle the Viper down. Leary's here a couple of moments later than maybe he would want to be, but uh, he will eventually show up with a huge army, and now it is 2v1 on that side. So the Viper trying to hold this hill right now. 2v1 is in a bit of trouble. MBL is on the way over with some knights. Those knights are plus one defense. Bloodlines is on the way. So they should have bloodlines by the time that... Um that they get there. Right now we're going to see a defensive siege workshop for the Viper. Big Manganel shot would be very helpful for him. I don't see any monks on the Viper side of the map. Uh, right now he will be basically defending this with a couple crossbows and hopefully a big Manganel shot. Uh, MBL gets there with his knights. Uh, Bloodlines does come in, but he still really can't engage this. This is a really big group of crossbows from Leary. Leary and Hart on the hill, uh, basically doing a little bit of annoyance here. They're not killing Vils. They don't have a forward siege workshop, but uh, there is siege slowly rolling forward. So they've opted not to send a Vil forward to drop a siege workshop. They're just going to slowly roll Manganels forward. More conks coming as we speak. They're going to get the better of these knights. MBL, oh boy. MBL needs to run away from this. He's going to lose a couple of knights here for free. 
Gonna lose you know, just one knight for free. The others do survive. Cartography coming in for MBL. Viper will get padded archer armor. Boy, oh boy, though, that is a great mangonel shot. Right square in the face of that group of crossbows from the Viper. Picked the right moment and uh, kind of surprised his opponent. Didn't kill a ton of crossbows there, but did uh, did dwindle down quite a bit of HP from his opponent's crossbows. Conquistadors, again from heart, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with these crossbows. Uh, quite a few cocks there. Will probably clean up the bulk of this army. So for the time being, it's still 2v1 versus the Viper, but the Viper is clicking up to Imperial. He hasn't really lost any vills. Let's check which TC he's used. I would assume it's uh, this back one. Nope, Viper is going to use the front TC for the Imperial upgrade. Okay, we'll see if it goes in. Uh, if he does get pressured on this TC, it might be a really, really back-breaking thing if uh, Imperial Age got cancelled. But the Viper still defending with crossbows. MBL is lurking around with quite a few knights. He now has quite a few monks in play. Oh boy, Hart here is going to go straight toward those monks. He's going to lose one conk for the time being. Two conks. Just two, two conquistadors. Wow, I'm very surprised. That would be much more than that. But MBL uh, dwindles those conks down. He's eventually going to make that army very weak. He runs in with his knights. Crossbow's already weakened from a couple big mangonel shots from the Viper. Uh, and in the end, it looks like they will probably hold the day. They're going to push their way up to the top of this hill with a mangonel. Uh, and for the time being, uh, we will see Hart retreat with his next group of conquistadors. So the Viper and MBL defending pretty damn adeptly there early on. Seems to be pretty pretty strong defense viper had two armies knocking on his front door from the top of this hill but they didn't even take down a building they didn't even knock down a house i'm not sure a single villager died in that aggression 96 vills each for the viper and leary uh 88 for heart mbl's on 83 so pretty damn close game so far uh i would say that rating kind of fell flat on his face but at least for the most part, uh, Leary and Hart didn't throw those armies away. Those armies, you know, they traded traded military units with MBL and the Viper. So they're not totally going to get caught with their pants down. We are seeing the Eagle transition, Imperial Age coming for Leary. He's got one, two, three, four barracks on the front and a fifth one as well. Viper is on the way to Imperial. He's starting to go out and get as much gold as he can, and he's going to start building up his barracks as well. He's going to be a little bit late to the party. Uh, Leary will already have Elite Eagle. But right now, those Elite Eagles are under a little bit of pressure from the Knights of MBL. MBL with fairly upgraded knights uh, is taking that fight against eagles as long as he can. I think he will not want that fight for much longer. Elite is on the way. Conquistador is still roaming toward MBL. Now it is kind of 2v1. MBL's army is fighting Leary, uh, and MBL's base is being raided by Hearts Conquistadors. MBL eventually gets surrounded. Elite Eagle comes in. We see those knights retreating. Okay, so MBL keeping his opponent on is trying to slow down that eagle spam, give the Viper a little bit more time. I think that's a really, really important thing that uh, MBL was able to do there, but the Viper will still be way behind on his eagles. Uh, right now, he is just getting Elite Eagle Warrior. He's only going to have 18 units on the field, while Leary has about 30. So Leary, you can see, is streaming Elite Eagles across the map. Viper's got a couple in defense to try to slow this down. Uh, but for the time being, they are not yet elite. So MBL doing a pretty good job to uh, annoy Leary and slow him down a little bit. Looks like those eagles are going to spam straight toward MBL. Not quite sure. Conquistador is still roaming around here for Heart. They're trying to do some damage to MBL, but there's just a few of them. I wonder if there's a little bit of slinging going on between Heart and Leary. Heart's been relatively quiet. Oops. Heart has been relatively quiet. Nope, no tribute thus far. Uh, it looks like Hart will be in the Castle Age on the way to Imperial. MBL will be Castle, but he is not on the way up. So MBL has built more knights than uh, his opponent, but uh, for the time being, we will see Hart going to Imperial. So if Leary keeps the attention of his two opponents for a while with all these elite eagles, uh, his teammate can get up to Imperial and probably Chain Barding on the way, Cavalier on the way, start building out Cavalier. Okay, Hart and Leary are in a pretty damn good position here. I think they're playing this one pretty well. Uh, we will see a shitload of knights in defense, though, for MBL. MBL's got a bunch of knights. He's got a couple of monks. He's pretty ready for um, he's pretty ready for the Conquistadors and Cavalier of the Green Player Hart. He seems a little bit less ready for the Eagles, which basically do not have any walls to resist them on this top flank. They will run straight into this economy and start grabbing down Vils. 
MBL is going to get dwindled down a lot here. He's on 85 villagers, but he's in a lot of trouble. His entire army here is pushing back hard for the time being. Uh, about eight eagles in his eco right now, just focusing on vills. You can see his villager counts dropping. Those eagles are going to get cleaned up, but if they can get MBL down on villager count, they can really slow him down. Uh, MBL on the way to Imperial as we speak, but doesn't have a whole lot in the bank. I'm sure he would uh, prefer to have those villagers working instead of all idle right now. He's got uh, 55 idols inside of his eco. So great raiding there from Leary with a small number of eagles. We can see a big team wall forming on the minimap. However, the Viper is spamming in his own elite eagles right now. Leary is building his own up. He's garrisoning them in his barracks. He's ready to defend against the Viper, who is a little bit late to the party. Uh, but the first bastion of uh, elite eagles will be Leary's, and they will run right into MBL's eco. MBL's fighting knights versus cavalier right now. A couple of conquistadors from heart uh, are really going to do a lot of damage with a bit of a meat shield, but monks on the way over. I think MBL will mostly clean this up. Hart, for the time being, will continue to take this fight. He's going to focus down a couple of monks. He's going to use his cavalier uh, to fight while he can, but you can see a few of those have been converted. Hart's really going to go all in on this fight. He's going to retreat with five units left on the field. Uh, for the time being, uh, Eagles, though, from the Viper are running into the economy of Hart. They will start to dwindle this down. 115 villagers for the green player, but it's about to be a lot less. Uh, Viper's Eagles on the side of Leary are doing a lot less damage. You can see a couple of them have run in through this area, but for the most part, they are being countered by elite Eagles from the yellow player. So Viper will send his Eagles in. He will dwindle down Hart. Hart's on 110 vils. He'll probably be on uh, 95 or so by the time that he cleans up all this aggression from the Viper. Uh, so maybe a little bit better of an early uh, Imperial Age for Leary and Hart. They have the score lead. Stonewall's coming up on both sides to start to protect what's going to be late game trade. Pretty damn good game one here. Uh, Viper and MBL, you know, coming in with the higher ratings, but maybe a little less time played together in the last month. A lot less time played together in the last month than Leary and Hart. Leary and Hart have really been practicing a lot. Uh, we'll see if they can use that practice and maybe a little bit better coordination to maybe win some of these games. But right now, uh, they, they are winning game one. They're winning game one as we speak. Uh, we'll see, though. Viper and MBL have a lot left in the tank to fight this. Uh, score lead is not very much. All righty, then. Let's see how this goes. Viper building up castles. We can see that the uh, team walls are starting to come up. The green player still hasn't walled in his side with uh, stone walls. So Hart is still pretty raidable, but uh, the one big deterrent there is that he has a shitload of Cavalier on the field. Hart's going to have about, about 40 Cavalier roaming around the map, going Paladin as we speak. Spending a lot of gold to get that army uh, into position to hit MBL. MBL in the Imperial Age now, he has not gone Cavalier. He's got a couple Cavalier mixed in here, but those are converts. He's still got Knight for the time being. What's MBL up to? He's taken stone pretty intensely. He might be slinging a little bit of resource toward the Viper, but he's rebuilding his economy, I'm sure, for the most part. Let's see. Right now, still no tribute sent. So for the time being, uh, MBL is not going to go Cavalier, and he's not going to send resources to the Viper. Uh, Team Wall is down right now. We see Paladins roaming in with Eagles as we speak. Looks like those two armies are pretty well meshed together. Where are they going to go? They can run straight into this economy from the Viper, but right now they're running straight into that castle and straight into a ton of pikes. This is absolutely unnecessary to fight these pikes right now. These Paladin and Eagles seem like they could have just run right into the back of that ego. They're going to take a fight in the shadow of the castle versus counters. Granted, they're going to win that fight because Paladins are so badass, but it does seem a little unnecessary to me. In the meantime, MBL will send a few knights forward. He'll do a little bit of damage to his opponent as we speak. MBL starting to uh, starting to build out quite a bit of trash. Okay, so that green army of paladins and all of those elite eagles are still here on the front, still fighting counters, still taking a ton of arrow fire from the Viper's castles. The Viper will start building out elite eagles of his own. Uh, these guys are really trying to pound down the front door. I don't know why they're not running into this eco. Uh, for the time being, though, we will see six or seven paladins run into that side of the eco. We'll see another uh, about eight or ten or so on the other side running in. Okay, good. It's time to do a little bit of raiding. The Viper sees the writing on the wall. He calls GG. Uh, MBL just uh, never really could get those um, those units over to help his teammate. Too many Paladins from Heart. And uh, game number one will go to Leary and Heart.
Leary and Hart playing damn good games together as of late. And they'll win game one of this series. It's a set of four played yesterday on Vubli. Uh, in game one, Aztecs and Spanish won by Leary and Hart. Pretty good game from them. Leary got the uh, Elite Eagles out first. He sent about eh, 15 or 20 of them to MBL, and he killed probably 30 of MBL's villagers and really hit him hard. MBL went into the uh, Imperial Age sort of limping. The Viper was a little slow with his Elite Eagles, uh, and he was basically trying to play catch-up for the rest of the game. So there you go, guys. Game number one goes to, uh, goes to Leary and Hart.